click is ETG. Eat the goose. Yeah, intro introducing the two racks a week challenge. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. What y'all need some proof? Just watch my videos, man. Video and then two know, racks just week. showing all your 2500, 2500. I said, okay. All right, that's what I can get with that. 68 hours, so it was $2,075.16. I work like 70, I don't remember, like 73, 74 hours. I made uh, like 3,400, close to 3,500. I made $2,001. 60, 62 hours and I had uh, 20, 2400. Introducing the two racks a week challenge. All righty, all righty, all righty. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have another winner of the two racks a week challenge man here we have my boy talib you know give him a quick introduction let him know which market you driving in which platform you driving on and how much money did you make okay. uh, let me start off by saying uh all praise and gratitude to the almighty man who's allowed me to to reach that goal and gratitude to you, bro, definitely for, um, you know, encouraging us, motivating us, you know, and keeping us going. Because, you know, a lot of, a lot of these drivers, man, like, you can get, you can get demotivated out here. I'm yeah. not going to lie. Um, but with that being said, there's no reason to, man. There's too much, there's too much going on not to be motivated out here. Uh, I will say my market is a little tricky. So okay. I'm in I'm in Orlando, Florida. Okay. You can tell with all the lights and everything going on behind me. And uh yeah, no, Orlando is one of those markets where you either gonna do good or you're not. Mm -hmm. Um so I think I made I think I made roughly about twenty one on the book. $2,103.25. <laughs> so I yeah. have it right there. Bam. So that's how much you made. Oh, and you see the hours, crazy yeah. amount of hours, man. Crazy hours, yo. So I seen talking... 99 hours and 28 minutes. Man, you 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 got us. You got to give us the the backstory. How were you able to do so many hours? And why the hell right. did you stay out there to do almost a hundred hours? Like, what was your motivating factor? <laughs> I got you. Um, so, pretty much, you see where I'm surrounded by, man. Just crazy cars and all okay, that. Okay, I see the R8, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm about to walk up on the lamp. What is that? That's a, that's a Porsche. But yeah, man, this is the area, man. Like, the area is bustling with money, you know what I'm saying? It's hustling and bustling. So, I mean, you you gotta you gotta use some of that as your motivation. I was gonna say that's mm. all of it. That's not all of it. You gotta have what you like to refer to, and I like how you be saying this, bro. It's a it's a short term and a long term goal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't just focus on the damn. I'm out here, like you know. Yeah. A big part of playing what a lot of these drivers. You know, their downfall is, is that mindset. Like, I'm just doing this just to get by. I'm just doing this because I don't got no other option. Nah, like, if you allow the app, if, you, <laughs> if you're at the mercy of the app, then you will never, ever try to excel or grow. And so that was my mindset the whole time. Yeah, It's like, I'm not going to be at the mercy of this app. Rather, I'm going to use it. The benefit, the profit, um, and that's what I did, bro. Now the, I'm not gonna lie, the hours, crazy hours, <laughs> crazy hours. <laughs> Yo, there was nights, right? There was days where I had, where I started in Orlando, made my way down to Miami, Fort Lauderdale, all that, 
drove back up to Orlando, went to Tampa, drove back to Orlando, then went to Jacksonville. Wow. But, bro, you talking, like, traveling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Traveling throughout the state. Um, That's how I put in those hours, bro. And, and like you said also, Kill the Monday. That was my Monday that I did all that. Mm. And I was killing it, man. I was out there. So, yeah. Um, a lot of people don't realize the game, man. Like, I mean, it, you be dropping down. It's like people don't want to pick up on it. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> man, it's I just, hey, they don't want to hear it. Yeah. So, yeah. Hold on. I, I'm gonna I'm cut you off real quick. I like the fact. Hold on, let me turn my mic down mm-hmm. just a little bit. You know, I like the fact that you said that you won't be at the mercy of um, these apps. And I think a lot of people they focus and put way too much. Uh, you know, focus or intentions on what the app is doing, how much money they're making. And like you said, man, it ends up, you know, messing up their, you know, their mindset and, you know, making them feel bad. But you focusing on the wrong thing, man. And the reality is uh, that's how business and that's how, you know, corporations and, you know, the capitalist economy is set up. All of those uh, boutiques, all those businesses that you walking by, they have a CEO and they have employees. And you know, the employees, they gonna think that they going that they deserve much more to, or that they working harder than a CEO or however they feel, which is perfectly fine. But you know, at the end of the day, you know, the number one uh goal for each co- company or corporation is to maximize profit. So if yeah. they're gonna do that and you don't feel like you deserve uh what you as far as like the earnings that you're looking for, man, you're gonna have to level up. And it's it's just yeah. really as you know, simple as that, man. So <laughs> Yeah, man. And hey, it's crazy because like when you have that mindset, like, yo, I'm gonna use this to my advantage. And not in a way where it's like because like I told you, it was that was twenty one on the books. But there's so many other ways. Go ahead. You go. Okay, thank you. There's um there's ways you can make money off the books, you know? And a lot of people yep. don't understand that until you really get this. Because I remember somebody commenting on your page one time, right? Mm-hmm. On your YouTube, it was like, oh, Uber sucks, you know? You know, get your money and get out type shit. I was like, okay, if you're saying it like that, Uber sucks, then obviously you got a problem with yourself, not Uber. It's yeah. yourself. Because yeah, why the, you want to ride share and page in the first place trying to demotivate other drivers? Why right. you out here? You know what I'm saying? If you want another you want another man page talking <laughs> about it sucks, then obviously it's you that got the problem, bro. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. <laughs> you don't want the problem. Yeah, it's it's only gonna be a mindset thing, you know what I mean, when it comes to getting his money. If you out here hustling and grinding and networking, it can never suck for you. Yeah, man. Never. Man, you you a hundred percent right. You know, a few things. Like number one, opportunity is all around. You know, and I and I like the fact that you you know you walking downtown, you showing us it just look nice. We seen the R eight, we seen yeah. the Porsche, and that's the type of stuff that I like to be around and that I like to see. And it keeps me motivated and it keeps me striving. It's like okay, yeah. I'm driving. You know, of course I want to make more, but I know I have to become better. I have to become greater to get the things right. I want. I would love to have an R8 or, you know, Porsche 911. And I know right. at the end of the day, you know, driving Uber is not going to, you know, get me that life. But it's going to be a stepping stone to get to the uh, outcome that I yeah. truly desire. So, like, you're right, man. When people come to my to my uh, page and they comment, and hate and say, oh, Uber suck, or what about this, what about that, trying to tear people down. Yeah. It's like, damn, I wish, you know, I had this opportunity as far as going to somebody's YouTube channel and I seen people making $2,000. I had to, you know, put the right. work in uh, all by myself. You know, it was no Ronnie Speed for me. So, <laughs> but people, they yeah, got their blessings, man. And, and that's the crazy thing, bro, it's like, you can do good or you can do bad depending on how you perform. Yep. You know? Yeah. And that's what I like about it. It's like, like you said, it's all about building character. Like, a lot of people would have got fed up after 60 hours. They would have mm-hmm. said, nah, forget this. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> bro, when I saw the opportunity, 
I see it, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. It's getting handed like three hundred dollars in tips. Mm. This, you know, big money is out here, bro. Yeah, big money. People are just stopping through, trying to get to Miami, come out here, bro. So it's like, and that's for every area, though. That's not just here. Like I know every state pretty much got its hot spot. Yeah, you got its good points and its weak points. So if drivers aren't capitalizing off of that. I don't know what to tell them, bro. You know what I mean? I'm, yeah, they don't. They don't want to. They see. They don't want to capitalize off of that because whatever, mm-hmm. whatever you get, and that's then. This is just in life itself, man. Whatever you focus yeah. on, that's what you're gonna get. If you focus on all the negativity, all the things, you know, that's external outside of yourself. Most people they spend I, more time and energy focusing on what Uber and Lyft is doing compared to what are they doing? Like, how are they going? Right. What are they learning? Cause there's opportunities all around. Just think like, okay, you in a cool city, you know, you yeah. in a, a, a tourist, a tourist city. People come from all over the world to come to Orlando. Mm-hmm. Then you got Jacksonville, then you got Miami, then you got Fort Lauderdale, yeah. then you got the beaches down there. So people, they gonna exactly. wanna go places. So now you could actually learn and by, all right, you come across so many places, so many different people, <laughs> hearing conversations. How are you not able to curate a bunch of ideas and get in, and create inspiration to come up with some idea that you could leverage and take action on to get you out of the, you know, ride share game. And that's what, you know, people, they don't focus on, man. It's like, everything is all the company does is all they suck. Earning, earnings have to go down. Okay, fine. Yeah. I, but we, I, I give you all of that. Now what you gonna do about it? You gonna sit up exactly. here? You gonna complain? You gonna change? Like, what you gonna do about it? So don't don't try to change the companies. Why don't you become the change? So check this out, Brian. This this deal. You know, so <clears throat> me compared to a lot of other drivers, and there are some like me, but bro, we're kind of different. Cause as you can tell, I'm, you know, I carry myself really pristine, really yeah. nice to me. Yeah. And it's part of my religion. I'm Muslim, so. Mm-hmm. That in and of itself makes it a little harder on a driver when you know you got you got to stop and pray. Yeah, you yeah. Stop and pray at least five times. Five a times day. a day, uh huh. That would be the mindset, right? Oh, this is difficult, man. I sort of God when I do it, 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 it put me back in the focus and give me give me a direction. Like, yo, this is what I'm really doing this for. I'm doing this to provide for myself or others. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here trying to trying to hustle, trying to grind. And then when you deconnect, you detach from the material world, and you go into that spiritual world, bro, the, the money start coming, bro. Yeah. I'm telling you, yeah. the money, and people don't believe it, bro, but it's real. Mm-hmm. It's like, you gotta, you gotta have a, a drive inside. It's way too many people that you come in contact with that you need to tell me people are not. It's either, it's a problem with the people, or it's a problem with you, because way too many people are not even making money. It right. starts to it starts to shine light on your character, right. not anybody else. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, I don't know what to tell them. You man, know? that and and I always say that, like you said, man, shines a light on yeah. your character. Only thing you know, once you go to your earnings, only thing your earnings symbolize is your disciplines for that particular exactly. week and who you are as a person, which you focus on. Now you see it, 99 hours, 28 minutes, $2,103. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people, what they would do is, instead of looking at it from the aspect of like, damn, this man, he put in a lot of work to hit his goal. What they would try to do yeah. is look at it. Oh, well, look how many hours, $2,100. Let me divide that by 90. Oh, he averaged this per hour. What about gas? What about this? It's like, they don't, they missing, they missing the ultimate point of this whole. Yeah. Uh, they are. Hey, <laughs> and like right now with people trying to like go on strike and all that, bro. Yeah. I find it funny, bro. Because it's like, all right, if you can afford to go on strike, go ahead and do your thing, bro. Like, I ain't going to be mad at you. Yeah. I ain't going to, you know what I'm saying? If you can afford it, go ahead, bro. I mean, I'm not trying to be pessimistic. And I want, yeah, I want good for the for the company, for everybody else. But this is the way they moving out here. 
if they ain't gonna take advantage of the drivers, who else are they gonna take advantage of? Right. The be <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So why are you doing that to other people? Is my thing like, yeah, okay, fine, cool, whatever. Go out here and get your money, bro. Hustle. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about all that. Yeah, okay, we getting paid. We, 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 you know what I'm saying? We ain't getting, we ain't getting what we expected, what we used to. Man, forget all that, bro. Right, man. <laughs> Those days, that. yeah. Yeah, forget all that, man. Those days are over. I mean, I get it. Because if you've been driving a few years, okay, of course, you've seen the changes. That's inevitable. Um, but like I always say, it's like, what are you going to do? Because at the end of the day, it's your fault. Because maybe all the companies exploit drivers. Well, not really, because you exploit yourself. I mean, is it really that bad? Like, because you can say the same thing about McDonald's. Well, is that a restaurant behind you? Yeah, that's seeing frogs. That's one of the hot spots late night. Oh, okay, I thought I seen like a Denny's. Is it, was that a Denny's sign? Yeah, you do got a Denny's right there. Bro, okay, all right. Here, bro. Yeah, all right. So go, <laughs> hold, point to the Denny's. Go to the Denny's. Okay. So Denny's is right there. I see it. So you, people yeah. can say the exact same thing about the uh, being an employee at Denny's. How they exploit yeah. the workers. Oh, we got to do all the cooking. We got to sweep. We got to do this. And we only get paid $10, $12 an hour plus tips. Everybody, sure. man, everybody will complain. Everybody will say the same thing. And instead of trying yeah. to change the system, change the companies to fit what you want out of life, why don't you change yourself? You know, stop yeah. focusing on what the company is doing and focus on what are you getting and what you going to do about it. Cause time is running out <laughs> and you real. need some skills. Hey man, that's real. All the pointers you give, man. I'm telling you, bro. And we got so much going on out here, man. You might as well come on down, bro. I like come check out the city, man. Cause oh, yeah, yeah. I know a lot of people, a lot of people think, you know, like Orlando is just Disney and all that, but you got a whole lot going on, man. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you can see the, the little Ferris wheel and the lights and all that in the back. Yeah, I see it. Uh-huh. Yeah, man, you got a whole lot going on out here. You know what I'm saying? So, there's a lot of weird stuff going on too. A lot of weirdos, but yeah. you know, you got, you got, oh, you, yeah, know, you got, know. Just, you got to maneuver, man. You got to maneuver through the streets, bro. It's like once you learn about your area, I put it this way: like how plumbers master their trade, right? You know everything about plumbing. They got mm-hmm. books, plumbing books, so they're able to go in problem. Or, or or even a carpenter, you know they know exactly where to go, how to do the cuts, all that. Mm-hmm. So, my whole thing is, bro, if you don't know your area down to, bro, tell me the name of the street. I don't even need no GPS. I'm there. Yeah. You ain't a master in your craft. Yeah. You ain't even a master. You ain't even there an amateur know. yet. You got to get out here and get it, bro, before you can start complaining. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, these dudes, bro, that they master their trade, they master their craft, bro, they still getting 25 hours an hour right now. What you mean, bro? Everybody's getting paid like that. What do we think? We special? Right. Come on, bro. <laughs> that, that, that's, that is a valid point. Yeah, man, you yeah. do have to, you know, master your craft. And because mm-hmm. it's so much, I think if people, you know, look for the benefits, it's so much value that you could add as an Uber driver, if you thinking and looking for how you could benefit and add value, not only to yourself, your pockets, but you know, to the people around you, your family, you know, your community, like you walking, it's all kind of local businesses who may need some type of, you know, help. And it's like, okay, I'm a driver. I'm coming in contact with hundreds and thousands of people. How can I, you know, create another opportunity for myself? And that's where, you know, you learning, you know, uh, more skills so you can have more value. That's all I'm focused on. So when people come to me, are you going to, you know, because today I'm not, I I will probably air this video on Sunday, which would be, what's today's date? But anyway, today is Valentine's Day. It's the 14th. So people are protesting. So instead of you worrying about, you know, that stuff like all oh, the, like the company, blah, blah, blah. I'm looking at it from an aspect. Okay. I need some skills. The more skills I have, the better I become, the more I learn, the more money I can make. So I don't have to drive the more value I can add. 
So exactly. that's why when people ask, are you going to strike and all this or protest? Like, no, I don't care, man, because, you know, <laughs> I, I me, I can learn. I'm so much greater than that. I don't have to, you know, do that because I don't plan exactly. on doing this forever. I'm getting my money. And bro, I'm getting out. check this out, bro. There's people dying right now getting bombs dropped on their head. And people are protesting for that. You want to go protest? Protest for that, bro. Yeah. You out here protesting for, you honestly, compared to some countries, bro, Look at Cuba, for instance. Bro, they would consider us kings, bro. Mm -hmm. Straight like kings. We can go buy food when we want to. We can go go to sleep when we want to. We can wake up, get out here and work when we want to. Y'all complaining, let me pick you up and plop you in another country. Let me see how you do. Yeah. Bro, the only ones that will really be able to, like, thrive in an environment like that, it's people that's already got this mindset that you got, that you instilling in other people, bro. Those are the only people, those are the only people, bro. Right. If you can't, if you can't survive out here, bro, come on, bro. I, I heard a saying one time, right? It said, um, you know, um, strong men make good times, good times, um, make weak men, weak men, mm -hmm. weak men make bad times, and bad times make strong men again. Yeah. So. You gotta be the strong, bro. You can't be complaining over this. Like you living comfortable out here. Right. You living comfortable out here, bro. Living good. You know what I'm saying? So And and another point, because I I'm a I'ma touch one more point about, you know, this whole, you know, protesting and striking, even from here and like for future references. I mean, if people want to do that, whatever, do what you do. Hopefully it works out right. for you. But the ultimate thing is like one, how is that going to benefit you long term? Because it may feel good in the moment, but how how would you yeah. really benefit? How would it change your life? Because even let's say, like I always say, man, even if the company gives you a set amount, they give you all the benefits that you desire, you know, they give right. you six a guarantee, sixty dollars, even a hundred dollars an hour guarantee, man, people still right. not gonna be happy because they don't know who oh, they bro. are, they don't have no they don't have no goals. They only work for money. They looking for like a quick fix. Like, oh, how can I make some money? How can I work for money? But then it's like, essentially, you turn it to a job that you're going to hate. Bro, and I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you those same people that be complaining, bro, at one point in time, they made $100 an hour. So yeah. At one point in time, they made the money to be able to say, okay, damn, like I made this for two hours. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. you want it sweet, but you want it sweet all the time. It's, it's, it's the world don't work like that. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Are you are you born and raised in, in Orlando? No, originally from New York. Okay. All right, good, good. Because, you know, I'm I'm from a whole different state and I uh, drove out here. So how, how long you been driving okay. again? Like how many years total? But well, this gonna this gonna shock your mind, bro. But honestly, bro, I'm only I'm only 26. Okay. So I was I had waited until Uber allowed me to get on the app because yeah. I think the age at the time was like 25 or something like that, 24, 25. Mm -hmm. And bro, like I only been driving for like two years, bro. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So it, honestly, I wanted to get I wanted to get the um the skill that I needed. I started out in North Carolina, made my way down to Florida, and that was it, bro. Like, How long have you been in Florida? Uh, like two years. Okay, all right, cool. Yeah, so, so you've been in Florida for two years. So pretty much, once you got there, that's pretty much when you start driving. Exactly. So I want exactly. I want you to I want you to share like your experience, you know, as an Uber driver. How much have you learned about your city? from like uh, all the cool things that you discover, like, damn, I didn't even know this was here. I, damn, this is so cool. I got you. Um, so when I first started out, you know, I was driving around in the hood, bro. So I was like, you know, nah. <laughs> I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Let me change this around. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it was an on and off sort of thing. Um, uh, like I started as a little, uh, like it was like a side thing, you know. I was doing it part time because I had a full time gig. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a plumber, you know, so I, okay, I have yeah. my, own, my own, yeah, I have my own plumbing business, my own plumbing company or whatever. Um, same thing, thumbtack. It's an app. You turn it on, 
and they got me listed as like a top pro in the area. So anytime I, I turn on my app, I usually got work. So there's that. But I was doing the Uber thing in between. So I started learning that Florida is a vast, like it's a, it's a, it's already painful. You know what I'm saying? But it's vast. So there's a, there's a lot of different areas you can go to, you know, Orlando, and they're still building it up. You got Orlando, you got Tampa, you got Fort Lauderdale, Miami. You got all these areas that you could potentially make money in. So mm -hmm. I started to, at first, I hated going out, doing long trips. But I started doing long trips to, like, learn the area. Yeah. Um, and, I, and I really only do that still to this day sometimes. It's not an all-the-time thing because... You still, like I said, got to master your craft. Like, mm -hmm. if I haven't mastered home base yet, I shouldn't really be looking on it, especially when you know it's good. Yeah, now, yeah. if you're in an area where you know it's dead, and you know you got to go somewhere to where it's jumping, it's live, then why don't you do that? Right. Because at the end of the day, the only thing it's going to do is going to motivate you more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a long drive back home. So what? You know, so I started to take that, that approach. Luckily, thank God I live in Orlando, so I didn't have to travel. Yeah. You know, so back in North Carolina, I used to have to drive from Spring Lake all the way to uh, Fayetteville or all the way to Raleigh to make money. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it was mainly Raleigh a lot of times, actually. I never really did Fayetteville like that. But, um, but yeah, so it just it really depends on you. I was... Uh, I was driving around International Drive a lot when I found it. Like, okay, this is the hot spot. Then I started going to the city. I said, well, if I'm going to make money anywhere, it's got to be in the city. So mm -hmm. let me go ahead and check the city out. Started there. Yes, saturation is a problem. Okay, we know this. We get that. There's a lot of people out here. So what can you do to fight saturation? That's a good question. My whole thing is this. How hungry are you? Because somebody going to go home at the end of the day. Oh, it's yeah. got to be you, bro. It ain't going to be me. And really, that's how I got that 99 hours is with that mindset, bro. It's like sometimes taking a nap in the whip, waking up like, damn, it's 2 a.m. Like, what the hell going on? You know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and drive, see who, who, see who needs a ride home. Let me go check this out real quick. So what was that approach? You know, and like, honestly, I didn't really have that week. I didn't really have a structured schedule. I was up, down, all over. <laughs> I was all over. Yeah, yeah. But I, that was me testing out my market and trying to figure out where I should go, what areas are best, you know, and, and where to go from there. Like, that was my whole mindset. So, really, bro, that was a testing week for me. It wasn't even like the full fledged, all right, I'm going to work type of thing, you know? So, yeah. and you got to do that. As a driver, you got to do it. If you're not testing out your market, trying to see what's what, see what's good and what's not, you're not going to be as successful as all these other drivers because they've tested out their area. Absolutely. So they've learned. They've looked around. And my whole thing is, like you said, bro, staying active. Like you see me, I had to get out the car go on a little walk. Yeah. Because, bro, it helps stimulate your mind. Um. The push-ups thing, bro, which I love, bro. Like, yo, you put people on game with them push-ups, bro, because I ain't going to lie. It's a mind thing, bro. Like, yeah. it builds you up type of thing. You know what I'm saying? It, it keeps your blood pumping so your brain stays working. You don't get demotivated. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, bro, if people going to utilize it, they're going to utilize it. If not, hey, but that's my story, really. is pretty much I just bounced around. You know, yeah, that was man. it. Bounce you have around. to be you have to be curious like yeah and, and have fun like i was never yeah. really under the mindset of trying to limit myself i'm like shit mm -hmm. why not man like all right if you want to go to sacramento which is probably 80 let's say anywhere from 80 to 100 miles away right. like fuck it i'm gonna try at least one time see what happened you know then yeah. like, oh it's not that bad even if i have to drive an hour and a half uh back Sometimes I get rides on the, on the way. Sometimes I don't. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Like, you're going to yeah. – sometimes you get the bear. Sometimes the bear gets you. 
but just being oh, yeah. curious, seeing what's out there, because you always learn from these experiences. You don't Ooh. really take too many L's. And the more times you take the, you know, scientific approach as far as looking at it from a, you know, science, scientific method, you know, you test in different times, you know, you test in different areas, you try new mm -hmm. things, try new methods, then you see what right. works and you see what doesn't work. And that's how you really, you know, master your craft and become better. And you'll be able to make, you know, money whenever you decide to, because it's really not as difficult as what people, you know, think. It's just people, they have these mental roadblocks and the way they think, and that holds them back. And That's they go true. on the internet and they start looking for people to confirm their biases as far as, oh, well, look, they're they're not getting the results. Uh, maybe it's the company, you know? Mm. And then it's like they latch on to it because then they go down a rabbit hole of just pointing the finger yeah. instead of blaming themselves. and. Ultimately, that's not going. That's not going to help. It's not going to help you. It's not. And uh, like you said, man, that that whole mindset of you know blaming the company, but it honestly, when you when you put yourself in that loop, that's like you saying, all right, I got a boss. There's rich people that do that. Yeah. So what you think you different? Like there's rich people that complain about getting paid what they get paid. Right. <laughs> so. At the end of the day, when you when you have a lot or little, it's not gonna matter. You're still gonna be unsatisfied. Yeah. So my whole thing is, you can either be those type of people, or you can be these type of people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's the whole thing of where I'm at. You know. So. Yeah, man. It's it's just human nature to complain. That's all, man. It's human nature yeah. to complain, and it's easy because, you know, from the time that you was a child until now, people been complaining. <laughs> they complain about right. work. Complain that they overworked, underpaid, blah, blah, blah. Everybody just complains in a negative mindset. And it's hard to, you know, remain positive, you know, set goals, you know, because that requires work and it requires you yeah, to work yeah. and you to think uh, in a proper manner. And that's hard for a lot of people to do. And they don't want to do that. And they much rather oh, play, yeah. you know, to point the finger than play the blame game. But like I said, ultimately, mm -hmm. it, it, it's not gonna really help you, man, because nobody cares. Like nobody <laughs> truly, nobody truly cares about yeah, your sure. problems. Like you, oh, like people hey. expect you know drivers to get in and uh, you know have be empathetic towards their their own plight, but they don't care when when passengers they get in my car bro. and they complain about their job. I don't give a fuck. I don't even if, even if you even if you think you exploited and you know you un you overwork underpay you can't pay your bills. I don't care. <laughs> not my problem. Not my circus. Not my exactly. monkey. I don't give a fuck. Like, okay, that's that's like a personal problem. And that's just how bro, it is. That's so true, bro. Like, I had rich people get in my car, bro. And like, literally, I swear to God, millionaires. 165. Net. I looked them up. Mm. Bro. <clears throat> long ride. Long ride. I'm talking about long ride. Don't tip. Don't tip, bro. And leave trash in the back of your car. <laughs> what you gonna do? Break down the crowd, bro? You gonna right. break down the crowd? Or you gonna keep going? That's my whole thing. Is like, bro, in that very next day, you get three hundred dollars tip in your hand. Yeah, three hundred dollars just out off rip, just off some. Oh, can you come back and get me? Yeah, cool, whatever. You know, so I mean, it depends on the person, bro. Like, yeah, if you want to go out here and get this money, bro, the, the world is that. Okay, I know we got obligations, we got things, but a lot of times, bro, people what people don't want to do is sacrifice, bro. Mm -hmm. People don't want to sacrifice. So, I mean, at the end of the day, something's gonna have to give in this world. <laughs> it's gonna be you, or it's not gonna be, you know. And if you're gonna let it be, then hey, we can't help you. All we can do is give you advice, you know. Right. Get out here and get it. Stop being uh, complacent. Right. I had those moments, bro, like, where I was like, you know what, damn, I'm going to complain about everything. Because, you know, hey, <laughs> nothing's getting better. Let me start complaining. Heck no, nah, bro. I had some really good people around me shake me up, allow me to remember, like, yo, you got bigger things ahead of you. You got exactly. you got potential. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Stop, stop being so down and out. You know what I'm saying? And then a lot of people... 
what they do, they don't. <laughs> I heard this quote actually one time. It said, "Move in silence, let success make the noise." Mm. You know what I'm saying? I read that somewhere. Yo, so true. You gotta move out here like the ninjas, bro. The ninjas yeah. in the streets. Don't talk about anything. Don't be out here partying, getting wasted, getting messed up. You know, smoking. Weed. Don't be out here doing all that, and then you expect your bills to get paid at the end of the month. Right. Change up your life. I promise you, bro. You see pictures on on Facebook and all that, Instagram, where people. Man, he making way too much money. With people stacking up um like ramen noodles, right? And then right next to a stack of ramen noodles, you see a stack of blue hunters. <laughs> bro, yeah. people is out here really living like that, bro. Right. Like stingy to like the utmost degree. I'm talking yeah. about I'm not saying you gotta be there that way. But start making some lifestyle changes. You know? Yeah, man. Uh, I I agree with that. Start making some life ch- uh, some lifestyle changes. And a lot of stuff right. is perspective. I see the Domino's and the Subway back there. I was about oh, to say, man. you should go up in there and ask them, like, how much, what's the hourly pay? Like, how much, if I wanted to apply here, how much would I expect yeah. to get paid per yeah. hour? Then, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Then we'll see Let's what's the it. what's the real exploitation, you know? I got you. Let me go check real quick. Let me go check real quick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, It's going to be good. It's going to be. <laughs> How you doing, now? Pretty good, pretty good. I was wondering, if I wanted to apply here, right, what's the uh, starting wage that I would get? $11? Thank you, man. That's all I needed to hear. But okay. Have a good night. All right. So, so you, you, y'all heard it. Eleven dollars, right? Wow. So what? <laughs> so what is really exploited? So a lot of everybody, damn, that's fucked up. But is it because that's what they choose to do? Bro, She's getting paid eleven hour, eleven dollars an hour. Oh, what? Well, 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 I know Florida don't have no state income tax, but you still got to pay federal tax. So maybe that eleven dollars probably turn into maybe eight dollars an hour, you know, or nine dollars wow. an hour. So it's like nine dollars an hour, man, and y'all can make two racks a week. But y'all want to complain about what the company's doing? How much you think Subway getting? You know all them sandwiches Bro. she making, them cookies she put in the oven. You know how much she's getting? Eleven dollars an hour. I see that slavery, bro. Like it's gotta be. There's no other. But that's <laughs> slavery, bro. Like, and you mean to tell me you want to call what we doing slavery when you come into a contact? with so many other people. You know, I came in contact yeah. with a person that literally told me he started out making $22 an hour at this company. It was a solar farm company. Mm. Now, guess how much money he's making? How much? A couple million? Bro told me he's looking at his next project, his next project that he's about to be working on because he moved up to a, a supervisor. He was starting out in the company. Bro, he's looking at like $82 an hour. On his mm. next project, bro. On solar farms, you know what I'm saying? Like big money. So it's, for me, bro, it's like this. <laughs> you could either complain about it or not. You know what I mean? I don't know if this mindset is from, you know, the people that I surround myself by. I thank the Almighty for blessing me with it, bro, because, you know, my background, a little bit about my background. So I'm Latino, because my dad, my dad's side, he's Panamanian. Mm-hmm. So. And, you know, I I guess that mindset, because I remember long night, my dad had to get up 2 a.m., get ready, out the door by 3. He would travel. <laughs> he would travel from New Jersey to New York, bro, every single day to put food on the table. Mm. Every day. And he, I remember him telling me that all the time. He's like, man, your, your siblings don't know. They don't appreciate exactly what exactly I had to do. On both sides, I see my mom struggle too. So it's like, you got to understand that people have been through this before. This is oh. nothing new, bro. Yeah. <laughs> this is nothing new. You know? yeah. Like, people act like this is new. Like, the struggle is, is, is something different than what they used to. 
Everybody wants a golden spoon in their mouth. That's not the real world. It's not, Sorry. man. You gotta, you gotta Sorry. earn that. You gotta earn that that spoon, <laughs> man. You. And um, like I always say, man, it's, it's really you know about leverage. Like yo, the more leverage yeah. you have, the more information, and the more you could uh, tr- transition that information into something meaningful to earn money. That's what it's about. Yeah. Because okay, like the person that's at, at Subway making eleven dollars an hour, that's not a high income, high you know education type of job, right. and that's fine. You know, maybe that person has a plan to get up out of there. But if you only uh, approach a job, Uber, Lyft, whatever, and that, and you only want to rely on that as your sole income source, I think you uh, you doing yourself a disservice, man. Yeah, she's because gotta so, be a manager. Yeah. She's gotta be a manager because she's got like, you know what I'm saying? She's got the whole store to herself. That let me know she's a manager. Yeah. But to start out like that? Oh, bro. And you complaining? Come on, man. Yeah. It's, I it's, bet it's, you if Uber really was paying us eleven dollars an hour, we would have no drivers out here, bro. I guarantee <laughs> you. I guarantee you, bro. So I don't know what everybody's talking about. I'm just hey, bro, and I'm like I said, I'm grateful, entirely grateful to you, bro, for having that mindset and pushing thousands of us. Because without seeing your page, a lot of people wouldn't wouldn't even know that it's possible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people be ah, you know. And so, there's gonna be people like you, people like me, and people like them. Yeah. And hey, more power to you if you want to be like that. But yeah, I see a lot of people on your page doing it, man. So. It ain't nothing new, man. It's about your mindset. That's exactly, all. And that's what man. separates us. Yeah. <laughs> it separates us. Yeah, yo, I saw the guy. It's a separation between these type of people, bro. And it's so deep, you can, you can see it. There's no in between. You either like that or like this. So Yeah, man. See, that, and that's why I like doing these calls, and that's why I created this challenge, is because I know for a fact people are much more capable than the things that they're currently doing right now or that right. they – even imagine like uh you work 99 hours would could you even imagine something like that like imagine two years ago you know somebody told you you know what on february 14 2024 you're gonna be doing a two yeah. racks a week call because Bro. you work 99 hours you're like 99 hours could you even imagine that i, I wouldn't even believe it bro yeah. <laughs> like, what is that even possible <laughs> <laughs> And right, you not you shit. You didn't break a you you walk in the street. You not dead. You know you smiling. You know, come on, man. Yeah, you're comfortable, bro. Like it's crazy because you got the money to do what you want, bro. And this is like I told you, this is just Uber, bro. Like I just wanted to do it to show people that yo, bro, it's not capital. I you can do it, bro. Mm-hmm. I wanted to do it to let people know and continue to motivate people. Like your your page was motivation, and on top of that. You know, I got, like I told you, I got the little, little plumbing skill. Like, I can, honestly, bro, if you wanted to, you can make more money than what you're making right now on Uber. Yeah. Find your niche. Find your, to find something you're good at. You know what I'm saying? Find something. Bro, there's so many people out here. They, they, they're entrepreneurs. They're hustlers. They're go-getters. So I met so many people, bro, that are like that. How can you not be like that? Yeah. How can you not? How can you, you not, know? man? It's so many things, so many things to learn. But like I said, people, they not, they don't have the mindset. They don't, I think most importantly, even talking to uh, like the passengers who don't drive Uber and Lyft, people, they don't know right. who they are. So it's like, how can you even have the curiosity or, you know, be inspired to achieve more? If you don't even know who you right. are, you distracted, you don't even know what you want to achieve. You just go on day by day and you follow the crowd. But if you actually know yeah. who you are, know what you want to achieve in life, you start to seek the opportunity. And then slowly but surely, you start to find it. And as long as you take an action, you're going to uh, have, you know, you're going to have these rewards. Exactly. Yeah, yes, sir, man. You know, a couple yeah. more questions, man, before we get up out of Thanks. here. Thanks. Why do you think this challenge is so important? Honestly, um, I would say it's because you gotta 
you got to know where you lie, where you stand. You know what I'm saying? Do you stand on that side or this side? You know, that's why it's important because it'll mm-hmm. divide people between. And it's not a bad division. It's just one that we could use to help motivate and encourage other people. So, like, we showing other people yeah. it's possible. You can do it, too. That's why it's so important. You know, you get out here, no matter what you do in life, you get out here and you, you put hard work, good, you know, uh, good work ethic go a long way. Um, if you're doing that and you striving and grinding to do, not just stay there, like you said, but elevate, you know, that's what makes it so important. You know, it's actually elevating yourself, yourself and others, you know? So that's my answer. Absolutely, man. And I like, I like the fact that you said that, man, because it's, it's two sides of it, or actually it's multiple sides. Cause you know, yeah. I know, people who watch my content i'm sure they watch other you know drivers or you know people who make content driving uber and lyft but mm-hmm. i don't really like to say i'm a uber and lyft content creator i'm more so motivation i like talking to people seeing them grow and just my channel is about you know really about personal development you know i'm yeah. just using this as leverage because this how i start to develop my mindset you know because i got in the game you know, driving part time, you know, uh, making, let's say anywhere from 600 weekly, then I eventually 1200. And I was like, damn, yeah. I'm making way more part time than I am at my other part time job. So I start to slowly but surely yeah. become better, start to set bigger goals. And that's, yeah. you know, what, you know, this is teaching me. I don't, I don't really care about the company. I'm just, you know, get my money and whatever and doing yeah. what I, what I set out to do for myself. So um, mm-hmm. you got, you know, you got people like us who's inspired, who want to be better, who want to set goals, who want to yeah. uh, have a sense of, you know, purpose and, you know, feel good about ourselves. And you have the other people who just, you know, they rather be more passive and, you know, they haven't found themselves yet. They haven't start to readapt yeah. their minds and, you know, they just stay stuck. I will say this, bro. I got game from my OG. Like, you can tell he was an OG in the game because he was, like, maybe at least, like, 60, 70 years old. And he was driving a limo, bro. Mm-hmm. You know how long, like, I see them sitting outside the little queue at the airport. So I went up to him and I started talking to him. Do you know how long his charter was that day? It was an eight-hour charter. Mm-hmm. And bro was at the airport getting ready to go pick up more people. And you could tell he was like, this is an old man. Keep this in mind. Like 60, 70, he was doing a limousine service. Mm-hmm. Yo, he gave me some game, too. He was like, listen, if you want to make money out of him, be presentable. Keep yourself in a presentable manner. No matter what you're driving, what you're doing, always look sharp. The reason why I'm like, it's not always look sharp. Always be ready to, uh, you know, even if you got to be nice, pop out, open the door for somebody, good customer service. All that, like we hear this all the time, and a lot of people complain because they don't implement it. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes you ain't even got to do all that. I realize you could make the most money just by being yourself. Yeah. A lot of people want they want to put on front, and people can see through that desperation, bro. Yeah. People can see right through, like it's it's almost kind of like sad, you know what I'm saying? People mm-hmm. can see that, like because I've been in situations like that where people see like, damn, this is. He needs some money, <laughs> but it don't ever plan out in your way. It don't. It don't ever go your way, bro. It, it always ends up backfiring because people don't want it to. People, a lot of people say, "Well, why should I?" You know, a lot of people don't want to. The only reason why they even dealing with you is because they just need to get from point A to point B. But when you make them smile, you cheer them up. They might be having a bad day, and all it takes is conversation to like really get a person open. You know, the, the main thing that people either live for or die for is their mouth. Your mouth can, can get you a lot of money or it can get you killed. So, <laughs> that's you know true. So, yeah, that's hey, true. Hey, 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 if you're utilizing it the right way, hey, you're going to be successful. Yeah. You know? I like that. It could, it could get you a lot yeah. of money. It could get you killed. I promise you. Yeah. I promise you. Bro, so, <laughs> hey, how it is. Uh, uh, that's you know, funny, it, it man. Was, it was told to us that 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 part of the body is <laughs> it's the part that can lead you into salvation or it can lead you into damnation, bro. It's your mm-hmm. mouth. So 
how you utilize it, how you utilize it really matters. Yeah. Keep that in mind. Oh, for sure, man. I I, I yeah. agree with that. That's for all my drivers mind. out there. And mine. And one last thing, man, for the drivers who have not made two racks a week, or you know, maybe they're new and they're looking to mm-hmm. you know start off with Uber and Lyft, and they see all this content and they feel overwhelmed or maybe kind of like confused on like damn is it is it really a scam am i really going to be exploited uh what would you say to them (laughs) well people who think it's a scam let me see you do something else and then and then come to me come to me and tell me whatever you're doing isn't a scam you know like come to me and show me a better result of you doing something else and and if it is better, okay, we'll congratulate you. But if you ain't got no other option and you complaining, I don't know what to tell you, bro. Like, you gonna think it's a scam all day long until you actually get out there and do it, and then be like, whoa, hold up, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Right, <laughs> so, right. There they go, you know. There they go. So yeah, yeah. And, I, and I'm a and I'm gonna end it uh, pretty much on that note. Yeah, if y'all think it's a scam, y'all think you're gonna be exploited. Man, that's how the system is, man. You know, don't right. don't be upset. You know, shit, just understand the game that you're playing because you're not going to change the rules of the game unless you go to right. another country or or something or you make your own way. But until then, right. man, just understand the, the nature of the game that you're playing. Figure out how ways that you can win and focus on yourself. Don't focus on what everybody else doing. Uh, you know, that's stay true. to yourself, man. Like uh, Robert Kiyosaki say, mind your business, you know, mind <laughs> your business. You in everybody true, else's yeah. pockets and business trying to, you know, see what uh, the company's taking and what they're getting. And at the yeah. end of the day, there's no point in saying, uh, and that's with any job, you know, you heard, you heard the lady at Subway, if you wanted to work there, you know, you would get paid $11 an hour. So if you make yeah. a decision to, to fill out that application, go on the interview, or as far as Uber and Lyft, sign up, pass a background check, you know, do your inspection and you drive and you talk about, oh, they exploit us. Nah, that's a bad way to look at it because you exploit yourself. And that is the truth. You exploit yourself, whatever you do, man. Exactly. So man, exactly. get, so get your, get your mind right, get some skills up, you know, have a plan and start, start acting on that plan. Because that's the only way that you're going to be happy and live the life that you want to live the life that you set out to live for yourself, man. And if you're happy in the process and you're achieving a goal that's meaningful to you, I mean, your life will be much better than you want to spend so much time angry for one and two, focusing on the wrong things. You're distracted by the wrong (laughs) shit. And 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 like he said, what other job can you get right now? That you could make two thousand dollars or more each week. Mm. Not too many people have mm. that luxury. You know how many? How long oh. would it take you to make two racks a week at that sub, or two thousand dollars in a month at Subway? So that's, that's, that's really what you're getting there. Yeah. So y'all, y'all should be thankful. A lot of y'all should be thankful, and you know, start to think differently and appreciate for what it is, man. I, you know, I'll give you one last tip. Yeah. Too. Go ahead. Go ahead. So not to be religious, but our Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, told us, um, whenever you maneuver in throughout the land, don't, don't, can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. Mm-hmm. Don't look at those who have more than you. He was talking to his companions. He said, look at those who have less than you. Because mm. it's a reminder for the believers. So if you believe, if you believe in something, a higher power, a higher being, a, a, a spirit, we believe in the creator. If you believe in something, bro, don't don't ever look at people that got more money than you and say, mm-hmm. all right, you can use that as motivation, but don't ever lust over that because you need to bring yourself back into balance and look at people that got less than you to be able to be appreciative of what you got. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's yeah, my man. last little bit of advice. Yeah, be appreciative. It's, it's definitely perspective because – Man, you could be in a in a totally different situation. And I think if, yeah. you know, being in this first world country, a lot of us, you know, they take take that for granted. Like we complaining yeah. about we not getting paid enough or that we being exploited. 
in reality, we got an app. We could pick and choose when we want to work. We could work in our car. You know, most of us is, you know, relatively safe. You know, if you really go from like the macro perspective. So, uh, man, you know, you got you got opportunity. And not only that, opportunity exists all around you. So there's plenty of things you could do, man. So instead of focus on what the company's doing, focus on yourself, focus on, on your education, focus on being great. And, you know, that's all I really have to say. You know, I want to thank you once again. Shout out to Orlando. You, bro. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. I pr- you need to come on through, bro. We out here, man. Yeah. Yeah, doing big things, bro. yeah I'm at to, I'm at to take a take a trip sometime, man. I'm at the yeah. I'm at to consider which market I want to go to. But yeah, like uh, everybody Orlando say, sound here, nice. Man. Like everybody say out here, uh, Orlando ain't just Disney World, okay? Yeah, okay. <laughs> There's a lot right. going on. There's so m- I'm telling you, like so many hidden gems out here. It's crazy. So yeah, man, we the hub, we the center, man. We the center of attention a lot of times. Everybody's coming here. I heard something, some crazy numbers, like a thousand people a day are moving here. Damn. So we put that into perspective. You know, the traffic is crazy, but hey, when you get around, you get around. You know, yes, you sir. get to see it and appreciate it. So. <laughs> well, all right, so, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this week's episode of the two racks a week challenge sure. until next sure. time Drum roll. Right. guitar <laughs> piano violin ronnie speed over and out mr two racks a week holla back peace two racks a week, two racks a week. ronnie speed yeah ronnie speed. ronnie speed 60 hours 